Disclaimer, no one, and I mean no one, has more risk tolerance than me. Do not trade based on the information you receive here. I'm not a financial advisor and this video should be watched for entertainment purposes only. Do not sue me after you lose all your money and want your shirt back. You've been warned. I will update this account almost every night. Uh, it is not my main account. I will add money into this account. Account may or may not be real. I am armed and dangerous if you want to come and rob me if you think this is a lot of money. Um, it's not. <sighs> Sorry to tell you that. And I curse sometimes, so use your headphones if you suspect somebody who might be offended, including yourself, is listening to this. So with that said, let's get started. Alright guys, this is the first um, episode of this. So I don't actually have a plan or, or know how it's going to go, but I decided to go on this journey to make a million dollars out of this Robinhood account. Um, so I want to take you on this journey with me. And we'll see if it actually happens. My goal is to actually do it in two years. But we'll see. It might end up being 5, 10, or 20. I don't know. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to try to keep up with the updates as much as I can. Um, <clears throat> so I will try to update every night. Because right now I work. I have a, you know, a job. I work and I work odd hours so but you will get this info before the starting the trading um, day the following day so you can listen to this audio and video watch the video and have fun and enjoy this journey um, perhaps maybe you're sharing a journey of your own and you want to compare or get ideas uh, but again I'll make sure that you're not following what I do exactly do your own due diligence and so to financial advisor, blah, 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 blah. So um, I use Robinhood, and the, use, the reason I've used Robinhood is because it's flippin' awesome. It's fantagoristic because um, you don't have to pay for trades. You don't have to pay for option trades. You don't have to pay for anything. Yes, you don't get money market um, interest, but who cares? Like, that's so little and insignificant especially if you don't keep most of your money in cash, which I don't. Um, it's always in some kind of a trade. Um, and it's, it's a money market account is just not enough, you know? Who does that? Okay, anyway, so this is, I'm starting with 30K. Um, and <clears throat> I've already had this account for a couple years. Uh, I started back in 2000 and well, I'm gonna say 15. This is the website. I used the application. I started in May of 2015. Um, this is the website. So I'm recording it here on the website. But I mainly use the app on my phone because it's cool. And I can just sit at Starbucks and just browse trades and just do my own research of things. Now, I have traded um, pretty much, well, not features, um, but I've traded everything else that you can online. So I have some experience. I've about 10 years of experience in the market and I've studied and economics and all that garbage and I know how finance works to an extent so um, I'm not a complete noob um, but I might act like one at some points and if I am please comment in below in the comments and let me know that I'm being a noob and educate me um, but I'd like to think that I kind of somewhat know what I'm doing uh, but this Robinhood thing is such a cool experience. It makes it very noob friendly to trade options and stuff like that because my previous account You know, it was just a bunch of numbers and you'd have to read through numbers and you got to be a real math head or Engineer or something. I don't know to figure this stuff out So this is really um, easy and intuitive and the app especially is even better than the website here So just to walk you through the website. Um, it's even cooler than the app actually it, I like this black background by the way I just checked out this website for the first time today. Uh, you know, last time I checked it, I was like six months ago. So this is the home screen. Uh, this is news, you know, from your related stocks and whatever you have invested in. So notifications. This is the account tab. The account tab is pretty cool. Um, you had your free stocks. Oh, maybe I should add a link so I can get you guys some free stocks. I'll do that. I'll add a link in the description so you can get a free stock on your Robinhood account if you don't already have one. But you should. If you know anything, if you know what's good for you, uh, you should have one. So this is the account tab over here. It's pretty cool. It's got that little heat map over here. Uh, I just browsed through it a little bit ago. Um, you can sort your stocks by total return. Oh, look at this. That uranium fund killing me. 
And of course, the company that I hate the most, Apple, is my biggest gainer. 12 shares of Apple. <laughs> um, so you can sort of buy equity and you can see I have ca cash. Actually, it's all oh, okay. It's saved as collateral, actually. So that's not my biggest holding. Don't think I'm a hypocrite. And then we have uh, the Uranium um, ETF. URA is my biggest holding. So you can scroll down through and see all the rest of them. I can go through them stock by stock. Um, but maybe we'll save that for other, other videos. And I can tell you the reasons why I'm buying all this stuff. Um, this one I traded back in like 2008 and 9. That was fun. So um, you can see a lot of uranium stuff here, and you can see some uh, emerging market stuff, and some, uh, this is Brazilian, a little bit of flair here, because I love Spotify just for kicks. Uh, so you might think some of this stuff is random, but you know most of what I'm going to be trading, yeah, I have Newmont, some gold miners and stuff like that, really undervalued. My favorite company um, to trade is Endeavor, because I just know it really well, and right now I'm a buyer. Um, and also have a bunch of options riding on it. And you might think it's a bit random, but most of my <clears throat> most of my trading is going to be um, through selling options. So you can see the break uh, breakdown right here. We have the uh, portfolio value, which is at 31 right now. And um, don't worry about that number. Um, the options collateral. This is what I have as collateral right now. It's $9,600 um, and some stocks. So I'm already running some options, and I will explain how options work, especially on Robinhood, if you haven't done it, if you haven't done options before. Uh, as soon as they announced that they are going to do options on Robinhood, I was pretty excited because I was already trading on it pretty actively, just for fun and kicks and giggles. And I was really, really enjoying it. You know, the free trade stuff is just awesome. You can just get in and out of trades, and you're just money. It's great. Um, now, my performance isn't that good um, so far this in the last couple of years, the general markets outperformed me, just like it's outperformed like 99% of the people out there. Um, <laughs> only a point seven point four nine percent I had a big scare here in the beginning of this year, just like everyone else. Um, but I've, the reason is because I've mainly been investing in emerging markets, you know, miners and stuff like that, and that's all been going down. And the only thing that's kept the portfolio up is like Apple. <laughs> um, it's embarrassing, but Anyway, uh, chemical, that's another, another one. So let me take you through these options that I'm running right now, and I'll explain what they are at some point later. But um, so for those of you who are noobs, when, when, you, when you, you, you'll see over here it says put or call. All right, so all these are sold. I haven't bought any options. I'm not against buying options. It's just that all these are sells. I prefer selling most of the time. I'll buy only like in some situations. Um, so when it says a put option, um, when I'm selling a put option, what that means is that I'm basically promising to buy the stock at a certain price. So you'll see here I've promised to buy Cameco, CCJ is Cameco, it's a uranium company, uh, making huge bets in uranium right now. Um, I've promised to buy Cameco on August 31st if it reaches $10. Right now, I believe it's like, um, well, I don't know how to maneuver through the site yet, you know, but it's a little over 10. I can't even find it. Um, here, we'll go to Cameco right now. It's 1036. All right, perfect. So... <clears throat> This is the option they trade like this. There's not a lot of liquidity, especially in um, in Robinhood. Um, so uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm promising to buy Chemical at ten dollars by eight thirty one this year. All right, and people pay me money for that. Like they'll they'll pay me money for that promise. You know, it's kind of like selling a little bit of insurance. All right, so. It's really cool. I like to think of it as like I'm buying risk, you know, I'm buying out your risk. So I just like, I just hoard risk when I'm selling options. I just hoard risk and it just makes me seem really cool to myself. And I just pat myself on the back for that. It's really, it's really fun. So I've bought a bunch of risk so far. You saw that I have $9,600 worth of risk that I've bought. And whenever that date expires here, I don't, 
I'm no longer obligated to um, buy Cameco at $10. I just get my money back. So I put up collateral because Robinhood forces you to have collateral for your options trades. So you got to basically put your money where your mouth is a little bit. You know, it doesn't allow naked um, options trading. What that means is that you just don't have collateral. So I'll catch you up on the trading lingo real quick. And, uh, you know, hopefully you should look it up on your own. Like if you hear a term that you don't understand or it's unfamiliar, just look it up on Google it and, and uh, get with the lingo, man. You know what I mean? All right. So these are my options. Uh, I have some chemicals, some uranium fund. So I'll put calls one one call over here one put two puts for uranium one I've sold one call for UXK or uh, 921 um, which is these are just small amounts really hopefully they'll get a lot larger in the upcoming future um, this is kind of a large amount here so um, I made the I guess not really a mistake but we'll see if it pays off or not when EXK was about three dollars I thought hey man it's it's probably going to go down a little bit, but I'm going to put up a bunch of cash. Um, and I've been contributing to this trade in recent days, but I'm going to put up a bunch of cash so I can promise to buy EXK, which is Endeavor Silver. Um, or they mine half gold, half silver, but the real cool, cool company. And I uh, like Brad Cook is the, uh, the CEO there. Um, so I put up, you know, a ton of money to well as percentage of the account in order to promise that I'll buy it in January all right I have 12 contracts what that means is you just times it by 100 okay so what does that make 1200 so I have 1200 shares that are waiting to be bought at two dollars and fifty cents so I've made that promise. Right now I'm kind of in trouble, right? Because um, EXK is at, let's check it out here. It's at 216, so I'm way below. And, and Robinhood is so cool that it gives you like the break even price um, for your contracts. All right, this is the call though. Cool. All right, let's go to this one over here, the puts. And look, it even tells me over here, I'm going to break even if EXK ends up at $2.23 on January 18th next year. And it tells me how much I've received on average per, um, per share over here. So that's $27 per contract. You just times everything by 100. It's real easy. And you can see over here the performance of these contracts. This, they're called contracts, uh, just by the way, more lingo. And you can see it over here. It's minus $270 of lost already on this, but it's all good. Uh, they go up and down in real big chunks. So when you see it like this, it goes up, you know, like climb stairs and down the stairs again. So when you see your main, um, let's go to the home. When you see your main thing, it just tends to go, you know, very like jerky. Um, by the way, I have this live graph like this. I've, I've actually bought like, um, what is it, like 30 bucks of Ethereum just so I can get this live. I'm not into cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency trading. I don't like that. Um, but I just bought it just, just for fun so I can see the live graph go. And I see the, t the numbers tick even off over the weekend. So it just like makes me feel satisfied. I don't know why. But uh, so those are my option trades and uh, I'll quickly scroll through all of my holdings so far over here in the little sidebar menu just to show you where the starting point is. And um, this is just my watch list over here. These are stuff that I just sold, um, just sold a little bit of real estate stuff and just bought more, more option contracts. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm starting from and I look forward to updating you guys on the progress or not progress <laughs> from day to day during the trading days I will not probably not be making I will not be making videos on the weekends um, I got work I work weekends too so it's not the best um, eventually I'll probably improve the audio quality right now I'm using a headset mic which is uh, it's still a super cool headset HyperX 
but the mic is just not as good as a stand mic. I have one. I uh, haven't set it up here next to the computer. I might. So we'll see how this goes. But I'm just excited to um, share this journey with me because I'm just so exciting, excited about like trading and, and investing. So um, it should be good. Yeah. And if you have questions about it, about the account, Robinhood, um, investing, trading, options, selling, buying, stock, you know, trades, limit trades, whatever. Um, I can provide some guidance, but again, I'm not a professional, not an advisor. So, you know, take everything you hear with a huge grain of salt, like ocean size grain of salt. Just want to cover my back. All right, ladies and gents, I hope to hear from you and I want to hopefully I talk to you on Monday. We'll see if I get one viewer at least, and then uh, we'll go from there. Should be fun. All right, players. Peace out.